Hello and welcome back to Yes Your Grace. Now we have just had a uh, rather wonderful arrow come through the window. I think that is uh, due to Asalia. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to continue on here. Now bear in mind that in the previous episode I decided not to hire the witch and the hunter for this particular week. And well, I think that probably was a mistake. Now here's the thing. I could have redone it because technically the game only saves in between weeks and it allows you to reselect your upgrades and your various other decisions that you made in between the various weeks. But I decided, hey, you know what, we're just going to stick with what we're doing because in a, well, in a realistic situation, you're not going to have a do-over, are you? But anyway, let's go and speak to this this peasant. Ah, yeah, this is Stefan, as he, as he says here, your grace, will you join my army? Uh, maybe? I owe my life, your grace. Of course shall I help. There we go. Be ready. The battle starts in 13 weeks. There we go. Another plus six. Okay. And now we have another peasant here. But I can't believe you have convinced him to clean up. The butcher, he returned home last week and tidied up the entire road. Swearing and throwing things around. But it's clean now. I didn't think he'd listen to you. He's as stubborn as a mule. Well, I did pay for his new cart. I was sure he'd rather move out of here than clean up. Thank you so much, Your Grace. I'm glad I get help. Please help the man clean the path too. It's not only his waste that's on it. Of course, Your Grace. I'm sure that they're not. I'm sure. I'm sure she's not going to do that, right? I'm sure she's not going to. Oh wow, we've got a bunch of peasants coming in here, and we also got a merchant as well as Via. Your Grace, I hear you're helping the Rodovian beasts, letting Rodovian men go. Who cares if it's women or children? Could be hounds. I, I wouldn't care. All the same rabble, you ask me. If it were me, I'd have them all lined under a halter. I hope Atana crushes you in a jiffy. Tfew. Oh, okay. Well, uh, yes. I, I, I know that she doesn't like us, but she doesn't have to come over here and, and just, you know, spit in my face, basically. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, oh, what's going on here? They both came together by the looks of the things. Please, Your Grace, this woman is trying to take my baby away. I think she means him harm. She lies, Your Grace. She has stolen my baby away, and I'm worried she will do something terrible to him. Oh, dear. Your Grace, something is clearly amiss. We can't give this baby to someone who might hurt him. Uh, why not cut him in half? <laughs> That's the, it's the classic, isn't it? It's the classic... Classic decision. Why not cut him in half? I'll get my general to divide him up. Then you both get an equal share. What? That's horrible. Let's not waste any time then. Chop, chop. What? That was a joke. But this makes it clear who truly cares for this newborn. I think he's better off with the mother who doesn't want to chop him in half. Thank you, Your Grace. <laughs> that was easy, wasn't it? Yeah, that was, that was actually quite easy. Surprisingly. I thought it was going to be a very difficult thing to do. Oh yes, also, this black scarf. Some people have said in the comments that it might be dusty. It might have been made from from dusty. I hope not. I would be very distressed if that was the case. But uh, what we're going to do is we will be giving the scarf to Alina in the next week when we rehire her or repay her wages, shall we say. And we will give it to her and see what uh, see what happens. Your Grace, I bring you something truly special. It is only for the wealthiest kings and lords. A bag of sugar. It will make your life sweeter. You can put it in your wine or on your bread. It is delicious. Uh... What? In prison? Why? I mean, it's a bag of sugar. It probably is sugar, so why would I imprison him? I, You know, I'm just gonna say no. We don't need luxuries like this here. I have too many other responsibilities right now. Maybe come back after the battle. Sure thing, Your Grace. Have a lovely day. Yeah, I mean, I have no way to know whether that's actually Oracle Dust or not. I mean, that other fellow seemed pretty, uh, uh, pretty suspicious, the one that we actually threw in the dungeon. He's still there, isn't he, by the way? Is he still there? I'm actually unsure. Maybe we actually let him go, or, or maybe we didn't. I'm not, not entirely sure about that. Anyway, look what she's done, Eric. Dear gods, what did you do with your hair and your dress? Is that a ring in your nose? Are you one of these barbarians now? Eric, did you know about this? She just came back from the town. Look at her. They're not barbarians. Stop calling them that. It's not her fault. She was born on the other side of the mountains. Let's all keep it quiet. 
Asalia. Are you st <laughs> uh, are you still seeing Maya? I thought your mother had forbidden her from entering the castle. She expelled her from the castle, yes, but she didn't say I can't see her anymore. We meet in town and play for a few hours, that's all. What's with the new outfit? Are you trying to torment your mother this time around? No, I just thought I would try something new. Maya helped me with it. Oh, I knew it was her doing. Uh, and what about a bow? Playing with a bow now, did you get bored of the sword already? Well, a little bit. Maya lent me hers so I can practice more. She says that life for girls is difficult and we must know how to defend ourselves. Okay, I've heard enough. That's enough. What do we do with you now? Throw her in the throw her in the brig. No, I'm I'm just joking. Anyway, father, I didn't do anything bad. Just got a new haircut. I actually I actually think it looks good. I think I think she looks gr great. I mean, she's doing um, she's doing archery. It's good to expand your skills. No, I think it's good to expand the skills. Anyway, and you wrecked a very expensive dress. Does it matter? Hmm. Personally, no. And you broke the window in the throne room. That might matter a little bit, but not not too much. This Maya has too much influence over you and will get you into trouble. I think it's best if she stops seeing her altogether, Eric. Uh, you know, I'm gonna say they're just kids because I personally don't think that this is a bad thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, okay, you know, it, it, it's fine for them to... I mean, I think it's great that she's learning new skills. Absolutely great that she's learning new skills and she's finding herself. I mean, I think that's fine. They're just kids. I'm going to say that. Let them have fun while life allows for it. Exactly, because uh, let's face it. Aurelia and, and Eric could literally die tomorrow from dual heart attacks or whatever. They might die, to, you know, die in the battle against, uh, you know, bastard Ivo. And then, you know, what's, who's going to take care of uh, Asalia? Herself, obviously. So, you know, the hair will grow back, the dye will wash off. That ring, well, it will leave a hole in your nose, for sure. And the dress, you will have to wear it as it is. You ruined it, you keep it. I'm sure, I'm sure she's fine with that. Thank you, father. Ah, you're too kind with her, Eric. I will be in our bedchamber if anyone needs me. I'm sure she's not going to be too pleased with me now, but... I got a tattoo on my ankle as well. <laughs> Just don't tell mother. Ah, uh, as. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Well, I, I don't mind that either. I think that's fine. I mean, you know, that that's just how it is. Ah, uh, Losulia sent a present. Okay, okay, so I'm actually not... Should I? Should I tell her about the present? Let's tell her about the present. Why not? Losulia sent us a gift. It's a scarf. Do you want to try it on? A black scarf? Hmm. Huh. Let's see. Hmm, it's not long enough for me. Losulia made it? She's really got good at stitching. Mother's lessons were not in vain. It made me feel a bit bad. I never put enough effort into that. Take it back. I've no use for it. All right. So, uh, at least we're speaking to... Lo uh, to Lo oh, yeah. Asalia. Ugh. Now I'm getting mixed up between all of them. Fantastic. Okay. Classic father thing to do, isn't it? Okay. So, your grace. Uh, well, you can call me father, you know. I mean, I, I know that they used to do that in medieval times where the, the young children used to refer to the parents as their, you know, their titles and so on and so forth, but well, yeah, whatever the case. Losulia sent a present. Your sister sent you a present. A gift from Losulia? Let me see. It's so pretty, so soft and shiny. Kind of reminds me of Dusty. Oh dear. How do I look? Dusty? By the gods. It's not from Losulia. Give it back, Sadani. Dusty, it's Dusty's fur. What happened to him? Why would Losulia do this to him? Uh, yeah, now I am... Hmm. What is happening? The whole castle will have heard you, Sadani. Losulia killed Dusty. Gods, I thought I recognized the fur from somewhere. I'm sorry, Sadani. I was mistaken. It's not from Losulia. It must have been Ivo. Losulia was right to warn me not to anger him further. He's trying to show who's in control. He will pay for this. It definitely seems as if Losulia sewed the thing together, but she wouldn't do that, would she? Unless she was forced. He thinks he can do whatever he wants. I fear for our daughter, Eric. We need to do something. Ivo will pay for his sins. I should not have agreed. I actually wonder how it would have played out if I had not agreed to the marriage in the first place. I don't know whether the game forces you to go through with the marriage anyway. Because uh, it might. 
that might just be the general uh, the general storyline of things because if we hadn't you know had Losulia marry him then it would have been fine because we wouldn't have had Ivo's army anyway or King Talus's army in in this case uh, or in that case and uh, we would have been able to fend off the Rodovians anyway, thanks to that wonderful, god-given avalanche, right? Anyway, come with me, Sidani. Everything is going to be fine. My poor Dusty. Yeah, I, I am... Uh, I am disgusted, really. Absolutely disgusted with Ivo right now. I mean, literally, it's, it's just an animal, you know? It's not actually, you know, threatening him in any way, but obviously it was just a... I mean, I think it would have probably been... W would it have been less cruel if it was one of Losulia's fingers? Not entirely sure, to be honest. And uh, I'm actually thinking... Someone actually gave me an idea to uh, take this mountains painting and actually give that to Grego as well, because he's probably going to give us some more gold. And that might actually be something that we want to do, because having gold at this point in the game, very important in comparison to having a painting on the wall that doesn't really do anything. So I think it's probably a good idea. So let's uh, let's ask uh, Grego back. He's the only person that I can actually ask. I'm actually kind of surprised that we still have Noxy on our invite list because he obviously doesn't really, uh, doesn't really care for us at the moment. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it was Dusty. Otherwise, I wouldn't ever show it to Sadani. How could he? This cruel rat. Oh, Luli, just hang tightly in there. Eric, we must do something. But how can we? I'm helpless, Aurelia. I'm a useless king. Can't even keep my family safe. Our forces aren't strong enough to attack. I can't take this anymore. Don't do this, Eric. We must keep it together until the battle. We can win this. I know it. Well, I hope. Very much. I'm worried about Asalia. I'm not really. I'm not really, to be honest, but... You know, she's not like a princess at all. This mire is a bad influence on her. I think she's really acting like all, all of this because of the wedding talk we've had recently. She doesn't want to get married and she's scared we'll force her into a marriage she doesn't want. That's why I'm trying not to be so rough on her. You're right. Maybe I'm overreacting. I'm worried too. I don't want her to do something she's going to regret. It's her age. She'll grow out of it. I know, I know. This pregnancy is just making me irritable. I don't think we can stop her from seeing Maya. If we forbid her, she'll sneak out again. Fine, I'll go and speak to her. I'll apologize for shouting at her so much. Alright, well that seems like a good resolution. Why not? Seems pretty good to me. And I'm actually wondering whether I want to take uh, the Stork Tapestry. Is that something that Grego's going to want as well? I don't really want to take it because let's face it, it is made by Aurelia. And I think that, uh, oh no, apparently he will take it. But he might not give us that much for it, so we'll we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I think that the gold in general is actually pretty pretty worth it. I mean, it's it's very very worth it in my opinion. Okay, so here's the thing. Let's just count these up real quick. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, twelve, and fourteen. Right. So we have. Did I did I count all of those right? Actually, did I count these two? Well, whatever the case, if, if that is indeed it, then that's 16. So whatever the, whatever the case, it doesn't really matter. Because what I'm doing is I'm counting these things to ascertain whether I need to go through my archives. Because someone actually recommended going through my archives and going through all of the hearings and seeing which ones were resolved adequately and which ones, which ones weren't. Because what you can then do is you can go to those specific villages in general and you can see whether this, for example, was uh, resolved amicably. And if it wasn't, then there's no need to send someone there. And that's actually a very, very good point. But I don't know whether I really need to worry about that at the moment because I'm going to be hiring all of my guys back in the next week and then I can send all of them off to start recruiting from villages and things like that. So I'm going to just send the general to the butcher because I think that was resolved relatively well. And that is it i believe yep that is it all right so we built the moat in the previous episode and we also yeah we we can't obviously build the uh build the ballista yet the the loan is going to kill me isn't it i feel like the loan is going to kill me like no one's business so let's have a look here we're making 26 31 32 
and we are currently spending 19, uh, actually let's say 21, 30, 41, are we, are we seriously spending 41 every single time? Oh my, that is bad, that is really bad, okay, well, whatever the case, let's just get a little bit more supplies, and I guess we'll continue. We gotta need we, we need the we need the witch and the hunter to you know be there. Grevno, week thirty-eight. Alright, so let's have a look at the pigeon first. Father, I've tried sending letters, I've tried to tell you at the wall. Ivo always found a way to stop me from contacting you. You have no idea how happy I was when I heard you'd returned home. With all my heart I thank the spirits they led your way. I knew about Ivo's plans, but I couldn't tell you. Ivo threatened me. If I said a thing, then he would not only come for you, but my sisters and mother. He threatened to skin them alive. Ivo is frantic. He's mad. He believes that by getting rid of you, he will heal his mother and avenge his father. To hell with him, Atana and his god. Father, I'm scared, but it will be better this way. I can see now that there is no way out of it for me. Tell Sidani I'm sorry about Dusty. Tell Asalia to follow her heart and tell mother I love her. Don't hold back. I love you. Oh, wow. Okay. Whew. This is this is really really bad. I'm thinking that she is yeah, as as Eric says here. I'm thinking that she is probably dying, dead, or uh, is about to be. I, oh, I, I hope not. I really really hope not. Osulia, is this is this her goodbye? She's not safe in Atana. Oh, thanks, Audrey. Yes, I I know that. We need to defeat Ivo. Take her back. I can't allow this bottom feeder to harm her. I will find that scumbag and flatten him into the ground. I know you want to, but we need to be smart about this. We can't take the battle to him, your grace. You know this. We need him to come here, where we have an advantage behind the walls. It's my fault. I shouldn't have sent her there. I need to show this to Aurelia. Yeah, I mean, it is my fault. Absolutely. I mean, if I could, that's why I asked earlier in the episode whether it was actually possible to not have the marriage. But whatever the case, let's speak to Stan. Told the villagers they should be here shortly, that's great. Grego's here as well, I have another painting for you. Uh, the mountains painting, there we go, take a look at this one. I will take it, 18 pieces of gold, yep, give me that. Thanks very much. And what about Aurelius Tapestry? Tapestry? Oh, why not, I will take it, 18 pieces of gold. Yes, give me all of that, thank you. So that actually worked really, really nicely. I actually got an achievement. I don't know whether you can see that on the screen right now, but it says empty walls. Yes, empty walls. Okay. Uh, so that's it. There, there, that's all the paintings that I have, and that is all the gold that I can get out of Grego, which I think is pretty good, I guess. Here's the butcher. Will you join my army? We're preparing for battle. Of course, Your Grace. Our village is the cleanest in Davern. I'd like to keep living there. Uh, okay, there we go. So that's nice. We're gaining another six. We got some uh, some peasants here. Have you ever heard of mud bugs, your grace? Insect-like creatures living on swamps, they glow at night. Some might say they guard treasures, but don't listen to these lies. They simply prey on those who follow the light. Remember, if you find yourself lost in the forest after sundown, do not follow the light. Why are you telling me this? I can't say I usually get lost in the woodlands. My son wanted to look for the treasures in the forest. Like I said, the treasures, unlike the mud bugs, are nothing but lies. He hasn't come back yet, and I'm afraid he's lost. I told him not to listen to these rumors. Ah. How long is it going to take? How long is it going to take for the hunter to do that? We will send a hunter. I'm sure he will be... Ah, uh, two weeks. I didn't say... Um, I guess two weeks is all right. I'm sure he will be able to find your son if he followed the creatures. Thank you, Your Grace. That's wonderful. Maybe the hunter can even get rid of the mud bugs and find the treasures. I mean, what treasures? There's no treasures. Right, this guy is obviously a very shady individual. Uh, okay, what does this guy want? I have a problem. I've been working on all sorts of buildings in the village. The forge, the new inn, a chapel. It's the only thing I can do. But because I have been working with very heavy stones, my back is gone. Can't lift anything anymore. Every time I try to bend down, I just faint. What can an old man like me do to make some coin? I have no family to support me. And the only thing I can do, I'm no longer fit for. Okay, yeah, take these. Uh, do I really want to give him 12 supplies? Uh, not really. But I feel like I have to. I already have five, five barrels of supply, so I'm going to do it. What do you grace? Your grace, what can I do with some supplies? They'll run out without a week, and then what will I do? 
I will give you one supply weekly. <laughs> they really know how to get you, don't they? Uh, one supply. It's gonna. It, it's probably gonna kill me in the end if I give him one supply. I'm gonna give him one supply. I'm gonna be stupidly kind at this point. Uh, I mean, I'm hoping that my happiness being this level will start getting me more taxes because we've seen uh, in previous episodes that I've, I've taken a look at the taxes and they're 23 gold, 18 supply. And I'm actually hoping that I might be able to get more than that. Uh, I don't know how or how or why or when, if, ugh, whatever the case. Let's see what else I can do here. Okay, so we have the witch and we also have... Okay, Butcher Stench. Oh yeah, so this is absolutely fine. So we'll send off the general to go and do that. And Village on Fire. Didn't we Didn't we help with that? Lost Casket, Love Problems, Balties. I think we did. I think we helped the, the Balties, didn't we? Poverty? I think we helped the, pover, the Poverty people. So let's just send off the Witch for that. I have no people to send for right now. No allies whatsoever. So let's just go and uh, speak to Asalia. Uh, and uh, tell her about Lorsulia's letter. Your sister sent another letter. Luli asked me to tell you to follow your heart. Oh, we've not heard from her for a long time. Is she well? Yes, uh, she's... Yeah, I, can't, I, I can't lie, right? I can't lie to her because, I mean, I think she's old enough and probably mature enough to be able to uh, handle the news. I probably won't tell Sidani that she's in danger, but we'll see. Ivo wants to avenge his father by killing me, but I don't want you to panic. What? Father, why? There was a trial. You didn't poison King Talus. Yes, I know. Calm down. We won't let him do any harm. Everything is going to be all right. What is going to happen to Lorsulia? I don't know, honey. I'm sorry. Okay, well, I, I, I personally feel like it's, it's good for the, uh, well older daughter, I mean, obviously Lorsulia is the eldest, but, you know, the older daughter that I still have in my presence right here to know what's going on. And Sidani, in this case, uh, will not know. I will probably not tell her the truth about that. I'll just tell her that she sent a letter. Lorsulia is very sorry about Dusty. She hopes you can forgive her one day. I don't know if I can, Your Grace. If she didn't like Dusty, she should ne have never taken him. She never deserved him. Dusty died in an accident. Uh, I don't really want to... Uh, do I want to say that? I mean, that... That might... Mm, it depends how Sadani looks at things. Because if she looks at things in a way that is... Uh, I mean, it's quite morbid, is it not? To believe that Lorsulia made a scarf out of a cat that died in an accident. I don't think that I don't think that's right. So I'm just going to say please don't be upset. I really didn't know. I know how much you love Dusty. Please don't blame Losulia for this. It's all my fault. I love you so much, my pumpkin. I really love you too, father. Uh, okay. Well, she, she she seems fine. Oh, okay. She seems okay. Uh, I guess. I mean, <laughs> as good as you can. Uh, as good as you can. All right. So, Aurelia, hello. Honey, Lostulia sent another letter. Our daughter, she, she's in trouble, Aurelia. Or in danger. <laughs> it's all my fault, and I can't do anything. Why are the gods punishing us so harshly? As if the battle wasn't enough. What is happening? Eric, talk to me. Lostulia's most recent letter reads, I now see there is no way out of this for me. Tell mother I love her. What does that mean, Eric? We must do something. She said Ivo is frantic and that he wants me gone. Oh no, if Ivo saw that letter, tell mother I love her or she's saying goodbye? We need to send someone to get her. His guards are too strong. We would never be able to get to her. He probably keeps her locked up just in case if we send someone. We just need to wait. That's true. If we anger him, he might harm her. He's confident that if he attacks us, he can win the castle over. But we can surprise him. If we prepare well enough and win the battle, Lorsulia will come back home. I really hope this is going to be the case, darling. Yes, me too. Me too. Uh, I'm kind of worried. Kind of is an understatement. Uh, 
Okay, well, uh, yes, this oak bouquet is really very, very much helping me, isn't it? I'm going to eat some oracle dust. Also known as fortune dabs. Selling it is not the same as using it, or is it? <laughs> can I can I use it? No, I can't use it. Okay, of course not. I was I was curious, you know. I was just curious to see whether I could. Anyway, let's go to the next week. Okay, so we're doing really really well in terms of gold. And <laughs> twisted back Rodovian refugees. Ah, uh, yeah, it's all going great for me, isn't it? Yeah, so my taxes are exactly the same. I'm not entirely sure if I can even increase those any further. Let's build the ballista so that that is out of the way. And let's get uh, one more little bit of uh, resources. I'm going to try and fill the resources up to the maximum if I can. There's still 12 weeks to go, so there's a lot of time left. Grevno, week 39. All right, so we got a merchant, got a merc. Ah, that's the mercenary. I don't have enough gold for that because I just built, I just built the ballista, so that's not very good. Our army numbers are looking worrying, your grace. We need to call and muster as many villagers as possible. Maybe they're just peasants, but as long as they can throw rocks, they will be useful. Uh, that's true. Hopefully, we can defend the castle successfully. Yes, hopefully. All right, so yeah, they're, they're, they're coming. That's great. Very nice. Mercenary, I unfortunately am un still... Oh, no, wait, wait, for 16 gold. Because some people have said that I should probably take the mercenaries because 22 men for 16 gold seems like a good idea. Uh, I'm not entirely sure whether it really is, but um, I, I think maybe we should do it because... Eh, why not? Let's go for it. Make sure your men are ready for the battle. Thank you, Your Grace. You won't be disappointed. All right. Hello, merchant. Please don't, uh, <laughs> please don't ask me for any money. <laughs> I can exchange your supplies for gold. 25 supplies for 18 gold. Hmm. Uh, do I want that? For 18 gold. For 18 gold. For 18 gold. For 18 gold. That seems pretty good. Let's do it. Gold will be more useful at this point. Well, yeah, I think it might be, because uh, we still have to pay off uh, all of all. Uh, we still have to pay all my people, and we still have to pay the uh, the bank loan, which I realize now was probably a mistake, as is always the case. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes, Your Grace. Okay, will you join my army? Thanks to you, I could finally sleep at night. I wish I could too. All of us in my village will fight alongside you. Thank you. Be ready. The battle starts in eleven weeks. All right. Let's set. Let's let's get the other peasant. Will you join my army? The town is going to attack. You can count on me, your grace. My family will be forever grateful for your help when the hunger struck our village. We could have been done for by now. Bring as many people as I can. All right. Yeah, we're, we're getting some uh, getting some good numbers. <laughs> Decent numbers. I have something to show you regarding our child, darling. Visit me in the bedchamber when you can. Of course, Aurelia. Why does the... Uh, can I just ask? Why does the wife need to uh, wait in line? I mean, surely she can just go and speak to, you know, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just more respectful to the other people. I, I can understand that, but I, I, I don't really don't really get it. Anyway, your grace, I'm afflicted with an itching sickness. Oh, my face is itchy, my legs are itchy, my butt. Uh, well, you get the idea. I can't stand it. However, I have heard that the touch of a king can cure all manner of ailments. So how about it, your grace? Will you use your kingly powers on me? Uh, very well. Uh, I should not have done this. Approach and be healed. King Eric touches the itchy peasant's face. I think I feel it working, your grace. I shall come back sometime and let you know how the healing process went. No doubt I am now going to have itchiness as well. What do you bet is some kind of contagious thing that I have now just contracted, probably? Ugh, that would be... That would be interesting and awful. Anyway, Your Grace, I hope I find you well. Welcome to the castle, Pastor. I come to ask a favor of you. The community has decided it is time to upgrade our town, Kolovrat. The one in the market is small, old, and barely standing. We thought of fixing it up, but it's better to just build a new one. We can use this opportunity to do it properly this time. The community has already gathered a large sum of gold and supplies to help fund it, but it's not quite enough to cover the labor. We will need to mine the stones and bring them from the mountains. Our mason said he can carve out the pattern in that. If we have a new kolovrat in the center of the market, that will bring more people around. The community will feel happier and safer. 
we would need 25 gold. It just so happens I have exactly 25 gold, but unfortunately I am going to need to pay, as I've said before, the various other costs that I have. So I will actually send my general. I'm afraid I can't provide the gold, but I can offer the help of my general. He should help you organize the delivery. Oh, thank you, Your Grace. Your help is very much appreciated. Okay. So we gained plus four. Again, I'm not entirely sure if my happiness actually does anything right now uh, anymore. Because maybe we're at the maximum amount of taxes that we can actually gain per week. Maybe that's it. Ah, hello. Eric, this is Delilah, a local witch. I think there's a way to lift the curse. Do you want to explain, Delilah? Your Grace, with your permission, we could perform a ritual that will lift the curse that has been placed upon you. Curse? I thought that was just humbug. From what I have heard from Queen Aurelia, it does sound like you have been hexed. Your poor health, misfortune, no heir. Indeed. I can't help with all these things, but I can think... But I think I can be of use regarding the most important matter here. A rightful heir. Well, uh, tell me more about the ritual, I guess. What is it all about? The ritual is complicated, and we will need you to be there, Your Grace. We will be asking good spirits to act in our favor. You will need to repeat the incantation after me, and occasionally help. Okay. What is the risk? This ritual doesn't exactly shout safe to me. What is the risk? Is it going to be painful? It, uh, it can be, but I will be mostly under the spell. Not entirely here with you, although my body can show signs of pain. Indeed. Queen Aurelia's spirit won't be in her physical body, so she won't feel anything. Oh, okay. What is the chance? Is the air certain? There is risk, as always in these matters. The ritual will need to be performed perfectly in order for it to work. But as long as you help us, the chances for a boy are very high. Certain, almost. All right, I think that's enough. Let's do it. I think we should do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for some witchcraft. This, this is gonna be fun. No, fun, but also deadly, <laughs> probably. For the ritual to happen, I will need to gather several ingredients. The list is long, but most things I can obtain myself. The more exotic elements, I will need your help with, Your Grace. What do you require? We will need to make a brew that will help Queen Aurelia leave her body. We need a special kind of mushroom. It is a distinctive, vibrant blue, like the one that grows in your dungeon. No, I, I already, I already know that those mushrooms are blue. So obviously, that's that's where I need to go and get it. It likes to grow in damp places. I'm sure you can find one around the castle. We will also use the herb of grace, or simply rue, if you prefer. I have no idea where that is from. Anyway, the strong smell will remind the queen, whilst under the spell, of where she is and what is happening. It will also drive evil spirits away. You won't get it from any merchant. The smell puts off customers wanting to buy other wares, so you will need to find one yourself. I will mark on your map where your agents are likely to find it. Tell them to look for bluish leaves with yellow flowers. We will also need two files of betony oil. It has the effect of easing pain, so these will be a gift for the old spirit. One mugwort oil, also known as women's sage. A gift for the spirit of the grown woman helps with the cramps. Traveling merchants may often have such oils among their wares. Oh my. How many things do I really need to get? Um, an amazing amount of things. The most difficult to get will definitely be the basilisk's egg. And we need two. <laughs> we need two basilisks. Don't be surprised. Even monsters want to have heirs, and so they lay eggs. The problem is, people usually prefer to get rid of these creatures, not keep their young around. Many people walk through your halls. I'm sure there will be someone strange enough to offer these, so worry not, Your Grace. The basilisk's eggs will serve as a gift to the spirits, one for the young one, and one for the grown lady. We need two, so they hopefully get the hint. One last thing, I would recommend that you find yourself a spell book. I thought you would be the one casting spells. Yes, but the good spirits will want to hear some of these incantations from the father's mouth. The book is called Performance of Rituals, Curses and Healing by Jerko Zaremba. He's a renowned scholar in the field of alternative medicine. Make sure to read it, if a copy falls into your hands. Very well then. When will we be ready? Uh, when I've got all the stuff, <laughs> I guess. Magic is involved, of course, but we are still dealing here with delicate matters. We need to wait for the fetus to develop. Don't worry, Eric. I will be ready before Atana arrives at our gates. I can feel it. 
then it's just up to you to repel the enemies. Uh, yes, <laughs> uh, I did such a good job last time, didn't I? If that avalanche hadn't come along, we would have all been dead. All right. That's it. Okay, great. So let's go into the dungeon and pick the mushrooms already then. Because I already have that. These guys can basically just go now. I'm, I'm pretty sure they've, they've spent enough time in here, haven't they? That must be the mushroom. Yes, there we go. Okay, that's great. Okay, so Pietro, how are you doing? Are you feeling any better? Okay. Your Grace, please. I just thought everyone else gets gold from the king, so why shouldn't I? Please let... Uh, yeah, okay, sure. You can go. If I ever see you again, you will regret it. Oh, Your Grace, I promise I'll never do such a stupid thing again. Okay, yeah, so you can leave. And this guy, didn't he want to do something like kill me or something like that? What do you have to say for yourself? Uh, nothing. I'm guessing you won't let me out anyway. Oh, right. Okay, so apparently he's he's just in there. How can I help Your Grace? Okay, so castle upgrades? That's great. We should invest in, in building a moat. Reinforce, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, I, I, I've actually already done all of that, so that's fine. What about the castle equipment? Uh, yes. Mining, uh, great, great boon against siege towers. Will be devastating if the enemy gets to the wall. The bellows and fans will be useful in case the enemy digs a tunnel under our wall. We will be able to smoke the enemy out. Okay, yeah, that's absolutely fine. I've done all of that, so we're all good. Okay, so there's actually something that I need to do here. I have the mushroom, I suppose. About the ritual. Uh, bright blue mushrooms. I think I have found these. Is this what Delilah, Delilah meant? We had some growing in the dungeon. Yes, I knew I had seen them somewhere. All right, so we've got the, we've got the mushroom. Remind me again, what did you need from me? I don't have a good memory. I literally don't. I don't blame you, it's a lot of things. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we need bright blue mushrooms. Check, we got that. The Herb of Grace, no idea where that's from. Two betony oils, mugwort oil, and two basilisk eggs, and also the spell book. I think that's all. Herb of Grace, where's that from? Where did Delilah say this stuff grows? She said it grows near wooded areas. Right. Aha. Uh -huh. It grows near wooded areas. Okay, so I need to send my witch over to somewhere that has a wooded area. Ah. I wonder where. <laughs> I wonder where. Hello. Yes, go, go and get some, please. Uh, I hope that uh, it is a 100% chance actually you know for us to actually pick those things that would be nice all right so we've got 25 gold still because we literally have uh we are breaking even basically every single time and how's my supply doing actually as well because our supplies are doing all right we have army upkeep so we've basically got 11 and i'm getting 19 uh actually no i'm getting much more than that i'm getting uh 22 25 every single week so that's actually pretty good we've got all the upgrades now so i'm pretty happy with that don't think i'm going to be increasing my supplies any further at the moment so let's continue onward grevno week 40 all right so alina has returned our hunter has returned as well that's fantastic sedani's here peasants here and that's it wow there's not that many people this time around anyway that's going to be it for this episode i thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time